Hello, I'm Babatunde Ahansi, the UN Resident Coordinator in Sierra Leone, where the United Nations system, consisting of 18 resident and non-resident agencies, funds and programs, is working tirelessly to actualize the country's development aspirations through the United Nations Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework 2020 to 2023. The cooperation framework aligned to the country's medium-term national development plan and the sustainable development goals has been updated to include the activities under the UN COVID-19 socioeconomic response plan and to reinvigorate effective partnerships as outlined in the UN Secretary General's uh, Common Agenda. The cooperation framework outlines four strategic priority areas for the country team in Sierra Leone. First, sustainable agriculture, food and nutrition security and climate resilience, where the country has witnessed improved agricultural practices and the reduction of vulnerability due to food insecurity. Second, transformational governance, where access to justice improved, especially for vulnerable populations, including children, women, and migrants, through development and review of legal and policy frameworks, the strengthening and establishment of local service centers, and the provision of direct support to survivors of violence. Third, access to basic services, where more children in Sierra Leone have had improved and meaningful learning outcomes, as evidenced by increased total number of children enrolled in schools, where wash services improve the well-being of the population and reduce disease burden, and where efforts are strengthened towards the achievement of universal health coverage. Fourth, protection of the most vulnerable, where key actions were taken towards changing community behavior and understanding of the rights of women, children, and people living with disabilities as well as the promotion and protection of these rights. Overall, in 2021, the UN country team in Sierra Leone contributed to the country's developmental advances, notwithstanding the shocks of the COVID-19 pandemic and its socioeconomic impact and other challenges. FU has served Sierra Leone for over 40 years and has carried out many interventions in the agricultural sector that have contributed to the reduction of hunger, food insecurity, and introduced best agricultural practices in the country. FU supported the government in line with the UN Cooperation Framework, focusing on four key priority areas. Number one, unlocking the challenges for actors along various agricultural value chains using improved agricultural practices. Number two, ensuring that the natural resources are well utilized in a sustainable way. Number three, setting the policy environment for sustainable agriculture. And lastly, building resilient structures to address emerging issues such as pandemic and climate change. FU will continue its support to the people of Sierra Leone and the government based on its mandates. In Sierra Leone, if it works uh, in close partnership with the government to implement agricultural development projects aimed at uh, rural transformation. In 2021, uh, by the end of the year, we had reached 22,265 households with support to access to financial services uh, through our network of 76 rural financial institutions, which include community banks and financial services associations. At the same time, we supported uh, 2,000 women-headed households and persons with disabilities uh, with post-COVID support for vegetable production. And these groups have uh, covered, uh, planted 10,000 hectares of, of uh, assorted vegetables. We're able to reach 7,358 uh, uh, households, and uh, these households are being supported with various other uh, value chain support. We intend to reach 43,000 households in total by the time the project ends. In IOM, our programs are geared towards implementation of the Global Compact on Safe, Orderly and Regular Migration. In these programs, we have been supporting government to address key migration challenges in the country. One of the programs we have been implementing is the Youth Empowerment Program, where we have supported over 2,000 youth 
have been trained in technical vocational skills, of which 200 are now receiving internship with the various ministries and agencies to improve their skills to, to join the labor market. We have also raised awareness uh, to over 3,000 youth in the country, uh, raising awareness against issues to do with irregular migration, human trafficking, and people smuggling. But also we are uh, assisting migrants who are stranded to return back home. Uh, this includes those who are stranded, the, the, those who are unaccompanied minors, and those who are victims of, of trafficking. We bring them home and give them uh, an reintegration package to help them settle back in the community. UNAIDS is the United Nations Joint Program on HIV and AIDS. UNAIDS is leading the global effort to end AIDS as a public health threat uh, by 2030. UNAIDS provides strategic uh, direction, advocacy and coordination to governments, uh, civil society organizations and development partners in responding to HIV AIDS. Some of the key achievements that we've had over the last uh, two years of implementing the UN SDCF is the fact that uh, the number of people living with HIV who are receiving treatment has doubled by over 100% from 23,000 to 46,000 in the last two years. Uh, and this strongly indicating that we, we can work together to eliminate HIV as a public health threat. The first lady has been chosen as the uh, global champion for the Education Plus initiative because of the success story of Sierra Leone. And UNAIDS is very proud to be part of this story. The UNCDF country program in Sierra Leone has a focus um, on supporting the central bank in uh, coming up with proper policies, rules and regulations that support access to finance. For example, the evaluation of the national financial inclusion strategy within 2021 and the drafting of the new national financial inclusion strategy, uh, development of the consumer protection guidelines. We're also working with the financial service providers uh, to improve access to finance, uh, most especially with Orange, um, with a focus on women agents across the country in the rural areas. Along that, we're also supporting um, training of women SMEs. Of already over 6,000 women SMEs across the country have been trained. Partnership with Freetown City Council is allowing us to construct 40 water kiosks uh, that will be managed by women and 20 public toilets. Uh, to improve water and sanitation in the markets in Freetown. UNDP is one of the oldest institutions in this country. Um, our focus areas are mainly three. First is governance. Second um, is sustainable local economic development. And the third one is the policy advisory services. We've provided legal support to those who could not afford. And also we try to fast track cases and that has really helped in the congesting um, prisons to, to a great extent. We were able to support uh, about 2,000 youth, uh, mainly women, uh, businesses who may have been affected by, by COVID. UNDP is one of the entities that supported government with um, with capacity to entirely revise uh, the NDCs, uh, the nationally determined contribution. Uh, and relevant for this country is our efforts to support elections. Uh, UNFPA has been supporting uh, areas of capacity building, uh, basically in the area of uh, ending maternal health, we have been working with the Ministry of, of Health strengthening capacity in the various uh, government hospitals. Both Bo and Makini, we have uh, the uh, training of midwives, which are very, very crucial in the, uh, ending the maternal mortality uh, issues in the, in the country, including provision of services as well as building capacity of the uh, uh, upcoming uh, health uh, professionals. In addition to that, uh, the UNFPA works also with the ministries of gender in focusing on ending gender-based violence uh, as well as other harmful practices, particularly female genital mutilation. UNICEF operates in Sierra Leone 
to support government in the area of child rights. Basically, to so ensure that every child survives, develops at the required and acceptable pace, and then is protected from all forms of exploitation, and then goes through very, very proper socialization to be very good participants in society. Currently, we do it via a number of programs, the first being in the area of health and nutrition. Basic education, uh, child protection, the very, very fundamental aspect of life, which has to do with water and sanitation, is a crucial aspect of UNICEF support. We have succeeded as we speak to help the uh, global uh, movement for vaccines, uh, COVAX and uh, other partners, to bring into Sierra Leone at least 3.2 million doses of vaccines. And we are going on to support them to ensure that those vaccines end up in arms. One of the pillars of UNIDO's mandate is to advance the economic competitiveness of our country. So UNIDO in Sierra Leone, our support encompasses how we can support the government within our four pillars, which include um, shared prosperity, increasing competitiveness, safeguarding the environment and knowledge building of institutions. So our support in Sierra Leone focuses more on trade and um, economic competitiveness, where we support SMEs on standards and compliance. So in Sierra Leone, within the Standards Bureau, um, we've supported the Food Chemistry Lab with equipment and reagent because we realize that um, you cannot export or even have food or items that are fit for consumption if they are not conforming to international standards. So in 2021, our main focus is to ensure that the Silent Standards Bureau, which is one of our main partners, are able to get to the standard where it is internationally acceptable. The United Nations Office for Project Services, UNOPS, is supporting the government and people of Sierra Leone to achieve social and economic development through our project management, infrastructure and procurement support. This last year, we've been working or in particular on critical infrastructure and technology needs, such as extending access to energy in rural areas, to schools, health facilities, households and small businesses. Technical and infrastructure support to the National Civil Registration Authority to increase the registration of important issues such as births and marriages, the construction of a health facility in Kailahu, and last but not least, also supporting the needs of the Sierra Leone Parliament in its infrastructure improvements. UNOPS looks forward to continue our collaboration and to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals for Sierra Leone. UN Women is the champion of gender equality and the empowerment of women. For our triple mandates here last year, the coordination mandate led us to assess UN City and we have the recommendations, the plan that will support this year. We also work to end violence against women. We are supporting seven one-stop centers across the country. We work to promote women's political participation and the improvement of the normative framework. We supported then the gender bill to be popularized and to be strengthened through the government and civil society organizations and we promote business, women's business center for the economic empowerment of women and also through climate smart agriculture. We are UN Women. We unlock issues that allow progress on gender equality. WFP has been in the country for well over 20 years. Um, we've been working closely with the government of Sierra Leone in supporting the population here on various activities. We have been having a long-standing school feeding program which uh, for the last school year involved 300,000 students. We provide school feeding meals under the Ministry of Education. Uh, we've been also been supporting the government and the various authorities, national and local, whenever there are emergencies here. Mainly it has been fires and landslides. We have been working very closely with the various ministries in uh, ensuring that uh, the, those affected by these calamities receive assistance. In this country, there are a lot of inland valley swamps that had been left idle 
we've linked up with the Minister of Agriculture, we've linked up with uh, communities in making sure that we can rehabilitate uh, these inland valley swamps to sustain these communities even in dry season because these inland valley swamps they do hold water and you can have a number of uh, a lot over a lot over the year because there's a very bit of water throughout the year in these inland valley swamps. WHO supports the government with the best possible technical advice to advance the health development agenda. We do this by providing guidance on matters critical to health and well-being and engaging in partnerships uh, where joint action is needed. We do this by providing guidance on matters critical to health and well-being. We also supported the government to swiftly respond to the unfortunate and sad Wellington fire mass casualty disaster. We were able to bring 6.6 .6 metric tons of medical supplies and emergency medical teams to care for the injured. As one of the first countries to implement the cooperation framework under the UN Development System Reform, the UN country team in Sierra Leone was able to deliver coherent, efficient, and effective programmatic and operational activities against the four outcomes of the cooperation framework in 2021. Looking forward to 2022, the UN country team will continue to focus on the implementation of the cooperation framework, considering the activities that were adopted from the UN COVID-19 Socioeconomic Response Plan. On behalf of the UN country team, we are grateful for the continued robust partnership with the government of Sierra Leone, the development community, and the people of Sierra Leone. <music>